I have known Molly for almost 20 years and most of that time was most of that time revolved around cooking together and we would we would whip up meals sometimes for just the two of us and sometimes we'd cook for eight or ten people and look up mid mid preparation and say who's gonna eat all of this um, one particular weekend I remember vividly because it was Labor Day and we had decided, Molly loved gumbo, and we had decided to make gumbo, but my philosophy about gumbo is you make it at least two days, a day, preferably two days before you're going to eat it. So we had decided on Friday that we would make gumbo for Saturday, and on Saturday we would do a big Labor Day barbecue. Uh, we'd prepare that for Sunday because we had plans for Monday and so when the day came we invited all of these people for once we'd actually invited people and we decided on a menu we're going to do grilled chicken potato salad coleslaw and and Molly loved Arico Ver she was she loved French food so we we're going to do baby green beans and we were going to have beer and people could bring appetizers and so People were coming about 7.30 and we decided at 5 o'clock we better go out and start firing up the grill and we went out and I opened the top and I looked at it and there was a bird's nest in it and I said, Molly, when was the last time you used this grill? And she said, oh, when were you down here last for Labor Day? I said, that was a year ago. So there was the bird's nest. And I said, well, this, this isn't going to work. Yeah, take, take this thing out, the, the, the gas tank out. We need to go buy a new grill. And off we went. And the first place we went to was closed for the holiday weekend. Whoever heard of such a thing on, on, on Labor Day weekend. And the second place we went to sold nothing but barbecue grills. And we walk in and, and I go immediately to the counter that says sale, the corner that says sale. And Molly is off looking at the, you know, the Rolls Royce, the Jaguars of, of barbecue grills. And I'm thinking, if you only use it once a year when I come down, why do we need a Rolls Royce? Why don't we get uh, a Plymouth Valiant? Okay, okay, not so much a Valiant. Maybe a, um, a Mercury Cougar. It'll be cool. It'll be efficient. It'll have the gas tank. We can make it work. We go round and round and round because Molly loved to spend money. I said, let's just get a grill that we can work with. So we get the grill and the guy says, you know, for $25, we can put it together for you. Molly is incensed. She says, eh, we can do it ourselves. I'm saying, what is this we, Kimasabi? I don't know how to put anything together. And by the way, neither do you. I said, I will cough up the 25 bucks. So we, okay, we get the guy, he, he, he puts the thing together, we get it on the truck, we get back to our house, and I said, okay, now we're cooking, the chicken's been marinating, all we have to do is fire up the grill, and we hook up the gas tank, and we turn it on, and we light it up, and it goes, oomph. There's no gas in the tank. Remember, this is Labor Day weekend. So we start calling around, we start driving around, we're trying to find a propane tank for the grill. And I'm sweaty and I'm gooey and I'm thinking, oh man, I have no time to shower. This is now, it's 6.30. It's getting on for quarter to seven. We finally find a propane tank. We fire it up, we hook it up, we fire it up, and by now it's seven o'clock and we're looking at one another. The table isn't set, the plates aren't out. So by 7.15, people are starting to come and they've got this and they've got this dip and they've got that dip. And we got the table looking great and we finally sit down to eat at 8.30 and folks are loving everything that we've done. And they said, God, you all must have really worked on this. And Molly just shakes her head without ever looking up. And she said, nah. Just a little something we threw together. Thanks, Molly. Will that work?